At Forrester, we believe that we have entered the age of the customer. This is a 20-year business cycle in which the most successful enterprises will reinvent themselves to systematically understand and serve increasingly powerful customers. Commercial success in this age is all about how businesses engage, interact and delight and above all forge relationships with their customers. Because the reality is that if you don't do this, it's increasingly easy for customers to switch to the competition. Importantly, the main catalyst which will promote commercial success is technology. We are witnessing a phenomenal pace of technology innovation, which is leading to a number of direct business challenges. Firstly, how to design and deliver technology strategy that helps the business become and focus on being customer obsessed. Secondly, how to utilize mobile technology such as mobile applications to enhance external customer experience and optimize internal employee productivity. Thirdly, a link to this, how best to utilize technology developments both in consumer technology and enterprise technology to gain real competitive advantage. In summary, how to utilize technology in order to digitally disrupt your market or a potential market in which you would like to do business in. And finally, fourthly, how to control and govern the data created by technology-based business services or how to control big data because where there is data, there is information and where there is information, if it can be manipulated in the right way using analytics, then there is a potential for competitive insight. Simply because the fact that technology fuels the commercial success of the business, the importance of a good IT operations team that reflects the age of the customer is rising. Equally, the challenge of ensuring the availability and performance of tech-based business services is also rising, as technology innovation is leading to jumps in service delivery complexity with cloud-based approaches, balancing systems of engagement with systems of record, contextually aware applications and the need to move faster in relation to application releases while maintaining quality. Today, Forrester finds that IT operations is struggling to deal with the challenge of rising complexity due to problems with their approach to people, technology and process. Firstly, from a people perspective, the IT operations function is usually fragmented or siloed, meaning that different operations professionals focus on the support of storage networks, servers, applications, etc. Meaning that they don't have a system-wide view of availability and health of technology as it pertains to business services. Secondly, from a technology perspective, this siloed approach leads to multiple point or domain monitoring tools being purchased which have historically been complex to use. And finally, thirdly, from a process perspective, this means that these tools are largely used for exoneration purposes or simply just to point the blame. Ultimately, these problems today mean that IT operations are actually compounding the problem of complexity leading to teams that are constantly in firefighting mode. On top of this, maintaining customer or employee required availability and performance is only the beginning of what is required. Additionally, IT operations teams must adopt a customer-centric approach, which means ensuring that technology used to fuel business services is meeting customer experience expectations of being easy to use, fit for need and enjoyable. This means the IT service management approach that is tailored to a strategic, unified technology approach which is increasingly becoming critical to helping business success and the age of the customer. Unified technology monitoring is the ability to monitor tech fueled business services end to end. This means monitoring the business user's experience, so an internal or external customer, the applications that they're using, Back through to the workload or infrastructure backend, so storage, network, servers, databases, or data stores, whether on premises or in the cloud. Ultimately, the key is context. It's not just about monitoring the technology, but more importantly, proactively monitoring in context of the business service. Unified technology monitoring solutions are important here. 
as they are key to rationalizing the use of complex point monitoring tools and ultimately help IT operations manage rising technology complexity by allowing them to understand the impacts of any performance or availability issues on the business and more importantly the experience impacts on the business user. A good unified monitoring solution firstly needs to be simple to deploy and also needs to be simple to configure. Automatic configuration of monitoring rules and the ability to monitor system-wide so infrastructure workload components and applications is a must. This allows for fast root cause analysis but it's also important to remember that it's not just about the detection of issues as that is still a very reactive approach to monitoring. IT professionals should also be on the lookout for automation and orchestration features or easy to integration with automation products. So it's not just about fixing issues rapidly, but it's about automating workarounds to ensure that either employee productivity is not affected or external customer experience. Increasingly, a good unified monitoring solution should also have an analytics features present or at least on the feature roadmap so the operator can query data recorded and turn that data into information rapidly so that insights can be made. This goes above traditional dashboarding and reporting which is really just a base necessity in any unified monitoring solution. The first step to unified monitoring strategy is not to start with solution uh, selection. Firstly IT needs to bring together siloed or fragmented IT support teams into a central operations team. This will be the hardest step you undertake. A central operations support team consists of three areas. One, the service desk, which should utilize monitoring tools for ticket creation so that they get notification of issues before being told by the business user and that they have the right information to give them situational awareness when a business service issue occurs, so they know the severity, potential cause, for example. Secondly, there should be an automation and monitoring team who are charged with providing monitoring and automation governance. So they ensure that business services are monitored from an end-to-end -end perspective, ensure that monitoring and automation tooling decisions are made from a strategic rather than tactical perspective, and make sure that monitoring and automation tools are healthy and working well. Thirdly, the operations sensor should include a command sensor or be able to handle communication and uh, direct what to do during major business service incidents. The second step is to understand the business services that need to be monitored. This might seem easy, but it's important that IT understands how technology supports key business capabilities and functions. Without this information, it's difficult to justify and put together a business case for further monitoring investment in a unified monitoring solution. Mapping technology to business services and ultimately to business capabilities shows clearly the importance of technology in the business and so it makes it easier to show why unified monitoring is essential. After these steps, we can now focus on platform selection, but a word of warning. The number of monitoring solutions on the market is vast, and vendors are differentiating on deployment models, so on-premises or SaaS, agent, agentless, licensing models, open source or off the shelf, these are just a couple of examples. The high level advice is to pick a solution that best suits your environment after a successful trial period or by trying a freemium version of the product. But there are a number of core prerequisites that Forrester recommends that you focus on. So number one, end-to-end -end monitoring. Any unified monitoring solution should ideally be able to monitor business services from the end user experience perspective all the way through to the back-end infrastructure components and workloads. Number two, open and documented APIs. As part of the adoption of a unified monitoring product, IT should be looking to rationalize existing monitoring solutions that are no longer necessary and create duplicate information. 
But there will be some domain or point monitoring tools that you need to integrate with, such as automation and application performance management tools. Therefore, it's essential that this is easy to do, and a solution that has open and documented APIs makes this possible. Number three, simple to configure and easy to use. Historically, monitoring solutions, while comprehensive, have been difficult to use and configure. In the last five years, a number of solution vendors have worked hard to simplify their solutions in terms of the deployment and the user interface with plug-in architectures such as auto-deployment and tuning of relevant system monitoring tools. These are solutions that you should be looking at as you don't want a tool which is difficult to use as this will mean spending money on professional services and ongoing configuration support. Number four. Look for solutions that have a strong customer community, so online, active forums, and well-attended customer events. This shows that the product is widely used, and more importantly, gives IT access to assistance during deployment and ongoing operation. Number five, the ability to create dashboards easily. The data collected by monitoring solutions should be presented as information quickly within a console. Added to this, it must be easy to create and configure dashboards to present information in context of different audiences. And don't just think about IT data, but also look for features that are able to combine business data with technology data, as this leads to real business insights. And finally, number six, features or roadmap that includes automation and analytics. End-to-end -end monitoring of business services is only the start. You should also look for automation and orchestration features that allow for automated resolution of incidents or the orchestration of workarounds to ensure that technology problems do not hamper internal employee productivity or customer experience. Secondly, you should be looking for unified monitoring solutions that have analytics features, not just dashboards and reporting, but features that allow you to turn data inf into information quickly in order to make business or competitive insights in regards to the business services being monitored.